Okay, I'm gonna show you some easy and fun um, lettering techniques that you can use to sort of jazz up your writing. This is the first one that I saw that I think is kind of fun and easy. And I will go ahead and show you on a blank canvas how to do this one. Let's see. So, if you have lined paper, it's always a good idea. Uh, this, this style doesn't necessarily matter if it's, if it's not lined up. So I'll start with the A. And so the A is a little bit of a fancy A. And in this style, you're just, you're just making the vertical thicker. So this is horizontal, this is vertical. So you're making the, the vertical thicker. And here they've used just polka dots to, to jazz it up and make it look fancy. And then the B, you just do a B, and then you make the vertical a little bit thicker. And here, the artist who did this style just uses a little bit different pattern each time. C, and then she's making the vertical thicker. D, same thing, and she uses these these kind of bars at the at the bottom edges, these bars like this. So again, we're going to make the vertical thick, and we're going to just choose a different, and then the E. Do every other one dots and then every other one slashes. F. Make that come out a little more. So you get the idea. So I, I like to call this a calligraphic line because when you do calligraphy, which is an ancient Chinese writing style, you have a very wide edge on your pen. So when you go down, it's wide, but when you go across, it's thin because it doesn't use the whole depth. So this is what I, I would call a calligraphic line where it's thick and thin in some places. And then the H, I'll just do a few more. So let's practice doing these little lines like that and then make the the bar thicker i j So there is a writing style that you can experiment with to jazz up your writing. Sometimes you don't even have to do all the letters fancy. You can just make the first letter of a word. If you're writing a paragraph and you wanted it to be look kind of decorative, you could do the first letter of the word or the first letter of the first word or the first paragraph, a big fancy letter. So I'll just do a few more. So the L would just be like that. I probably made that too big. Doesn't need to be that big. Let's do it down here and then just make it a little smaller. So again, you're just doing the vertical into a wider line. I'll do one more, I'll do the M. So we're just making the left side into a wider 
Okay, so another lettering style that I can show you would be, so there's, there's another look at the whole alphabet that I just kind of showed you. And you know, doing these little decorative, these little decorative swirls beside maybe at the beginning of a word and at the end of a word is kind of fun. So let's go look at a different style for a minute. This style right here is just sort of similar, except they've blocked in inside the fat part of the letter. So I'll just do that quickly and just, I can't, I wish I could write all of your names and show you how it would be, but I, I really wouldn't have time to do that. So I'll just show you this one as an example. So they did the J. And again, they just made a bar at the top and then made the just the vertical part of the letter is fat. I didn't do that very well. And then they blocked in. Need to make it wider. And then they just blocked in. So again, you're just you're just you're you're doing a stylistic version of a letter. So there would be a J, and then the A goes like this with a bar here, and then they're adding a, a swirly. So if you have an A in your name, you could try that. And then they blocked in inside. So it would be like that. So you're adding these bars to make it look more decorative. Oh, I forgot to do the dot on the J. And then they, they blocked in the middle of that. I'm not being very neat right now. Okay, so then the N, let's do the N. So you're making these bars at the top and the bottom. And then for the N, they brought it down here and added a swirl. And then the the inside, the inside is colored in. Okay, so let's do another in. Okay, so you put the bar, top and the bottom of the vertical, and you block in and then you make it come down like this. So, you know, adding swirls to your letters um, is very decorative. And then the A is the other, that fancy A again. So make the A like this. A bar there and a bar there and then make the vertical fatter, wider, and then make the inside of the A the swirl. Didn't do that very neatly. So there's one way to write a fancy name. And then the last um, style that I thought would be, let's see, not that one. To make the capital letters, so it's the same idea. You're taking the vertical part of the letter. This Remember, this is vertical. This is horizontal. So you're taking the vertical part of the letter only, and you're making it real wide. So 
So let's try that one. And if you're trying to make your letters all lined up, there really is, is not a shortcut. You know, you have to use a guide. So you could draw a straight line with any straight edge. And if you want to get your letters straight, you have to make a line, a guide. If you want to get your letters evenly spaced, you have to count the letters. You have to literally count the letters. Like, if I want to get this word centered on my page, I have to figure out where the middle is and put it right in the middle of the page. So I would have to say there's three letters on that side and three on that side. That's there's no shortcut to getting things straight and even. You have to measure them and count them. That's the point I want to make here. So let's try this alphabet with the... Let's do an A. So then I would make the, the left side wider. B. Let's look back at the example again. So A, B, C, and then they, I'm just putting my slash marks all the way up, but you can do it like they did if you like. You could do A. and just do something like that, B, C, well that looks like a G, I shouldn't have done that, okay, so like that. And then let's make another line, a straight line across. And if you if you're making lettering for a poster, you you do your guidelines like this. You you do them in pencil so that you can erase them. Or sometimes I I use chalk if I'm on a surface where the chalk can be erased. So the D would look like this. So again, you're just, you're doing the vertical a little bit thicker. Let's look back at the example again. And then she's, she's doing a stylistic way of doing a low bar. So a low bar on an E would be down here. My pen is not thick enough right now to show this. So I would say that's a stylistic way of showing an E. And then F. and then a low bar to match the E. My E almost looks like an F because my pen wasn't thick enough there. G, and then make the left side, the vertical, very exaggerated. H, I'll tell you what I did wrong. I wanted to make I wanted to make this part low to match the low bar of the E and the F, but I'm glad I messed up so that I could emphasize this. G
alternately you could do a G with a very high bar if you were choosing to do a stylistic high bar letter. So there's but I but I was doing low bars, so let's stick with that. And then let's go H. I'll just do a few more. So this is just a, a good way to you know if you're making a poster or something for a school project. Oops, I kind of accidentally changed my pen here. It happens sometimes. Okay. Try to get this straighter. So if you're making a poster or something and you want to emphasize some lettering, this is just one, one way you can do it. Let's do a low bar to match the others. Let me look back at my example and look at the H. And then the I. J. K. Let's make a low intersection to match the others. Well, that last line was pretty wobbly, wasn't it? So if you do a whole alphabet like that, it's, um, it's going to look nice. L. So, and then if you want to write your name, let's say you have a short name. I'll just make up a short name. Tom. So you could do some fancy letters like that, and then a low bar for the M. And then and then you could do just to jazz it up, you could do something like So if you want to practice doing something like this, the next time you buy someone a birthday card, just write their name on it, on the envelope, and do it fancy like this, and they're going to be really impressed. I think I did that different. Okay, let's try that again. So, again, just a way to make something a little more special when you're writing it. And dots or a good way to jazz something up. So there's a few examples of how to write your name, um, some lettering styles. There's just a gazillion <clears throat> ways to make fancy letters on the internet. So if you, if you want to learn a style, just pick a style that you find on the internet and work on it and start incorporating it into your writings. And again, here's some of the the little fancy things that you can add. You can add a little leaf. You can add a little leaf with a with polka dots. It's kind of fun. Dots, um, swirls, 
with a leaf with stripes on it, like that one. Flowers. So, I hope you enjoyed my lettering lesson, and I hope